and Brittany. And this is going to be day 19. Yeah, because I'll probably put one out tomorrow anyway. But, you know, there'll be two tomorrow maybe? This might be day 19 and 20. Let's just go with that. All right. <laughs> We're going to shake her and spoon it. This month is a rum box. We're very much more excited than most of the tequila boxes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need ice, duh. Oh. Tell them about the rum while I go get ice. <laughs> She's frozen. She's I'm supposed to tell you about the rum. I bought this rum. I'm supposed to get an aged rum and all the ones that were recommended the place that I went did not have. But he did say that this one does sell a lot. It's rum barbancourt from Haiti. It's not made from molasses like most rums. It's made from a sugar cane juice, I believe. But I read an article about it because I wanted to make sure it was good before I bought it. And they said that it was probably in the top uh, rums, R-H-U-M, that they had ever drank and that it's a really good sipping rum, so I'm hoping that means it's also a good mixing rum. I guess we'll see. But like, it looks real nice. It looks like a real old-fashioned bottle of rum, so you'll feel like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually gonna take a, not a shot, but a we're sickle. gonna put some in shot glass so we can try it. You wanna open it? I mean, sure, yeah. Oh, it's in French, I love it. French. <laughs> speak French in Haiti? Haiti? Yes. 100% sugar cane rum, R H U M, aged in oak. Eight years. Let's see. Just, just like a tattle do. Yeah. Just a tattle. I can smell it. Oh, I'm Aristola. Your Maleficent. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that actually nice smells nice. Spice to it. That's yeah. Good. Well, cheersies. Cheersies. Ooh, it's nice and caramely. Wow, that is smooth. It's gonna be great. Yeah. That has a really nice spicy kick to it. It's nice and spicy and caramely. I'm into it. Yeah. Let's, let's make this drink. Heck yeah. This is a Dia Kachimba. <laughs> Dia Kachimba. Dia Kachimba. Uh, shake your hips through this colorful kinetic Miami nightlife scene and join up with Steve Miner, who's using the Florida Keys to open a portal to the wild, biodiverse wonders of the surrounding Caribbean islands. It's time to get on your feet with the bright tropical tandem of blood orange and guava mm. and feel the soft smoke and heat of chipotle. Oh. With flavor sensations of sweet, tart, savory, and spice, each take their turn, anchored by the robust richness of the aged rum. This is an amped up daiquiri with a name that says it all. All right. In Nicaraguan slang, dope as F.A. We'll leave it there. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Cost in a different language. Okay, add all the ingredients to a shaker. All right, so we're gonna need two ounces of rum. Whoops, sorry. Listen, I'm your assistant. I'll take the top off for you. <laughs> She's taking her top off, y'all. <laughs> this is not only fans, Brittany. I'll work on that. <laughs> no. Those. And we're doing a double, so. She's always got the mom handout for me. I love it. For moments like that. Yeah. Look, there's just a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, one ounce of the orange guava barmalade. Barmalade, all natural fruit mixers. This one's blood orange guava. I've been really into blood orange and guava lately. Oh God, it's it it's a weird thing to say, but oh gosh. I tried a blood orange juice. So juicy. <laughs> so juicy. You're weird. I know. I like it. <laughs> I myself am strange and unusual. Bitch same. <laughs> Five drops, not dashes, of the Chipotle cocktail spice. I love that the blood orange guava looks like a baby food jar. <laughs> it really does. 
Okay, five drops. Not dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gorgeous. Half an ounce of citric saline solution. That sounds nasty. Citric saline. So is it salty? Salty Filter salad. water, citric acid, kosher salt, and malic acid. Okay. okay, so we need a whole ounce of that for a double. Okay, and then one ounce of coconut water. Mm -hmm. There we go. We got mojo coconut water. We got our mojo back. I never had a mojo. I definitely got Mojo. Oh, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Anybody? Anybody? Mojo Jojo? Mojo Jojo. Comment down below. Did you get that? <laughs> uh, fill the shaker with ice cubes and shake vigorously until it's ice cold and shows frost on the outside. 15 to 30 seconds. And like Blue's Clues, we're going to count on you to shout out when we need to stop shaking. <laughs> Ready? Go. I think okay. I heard them. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Good job, guys. <laughs> so proud of y'all. Double strain the shaker's contents into a chilled coo without ice. Feel free to float a dehydrated lime wheel on top of the drink if you'd like to and have one on hand. I do not. If you have, just, <clears throat> just happen to have it on hand. Just happen to have one. We're only going to single strain it. Ooh. Yes. I don't know how much is in here. Not the classy amount, you know? Why did I fill these two glasses? And we got the little white speckles. Lovely. All right. So there is our first drink. Let's do it to it. Oh, it smells nice. Cheersies. At first I was really turned off by the salt, but then the sweetness comes through. That's nice. Boy, that's smooth. We need to be sitting at the pool at the Cosmopolitan uh, drinking these. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we gauge things now. <laughs> Once you experience it, that's your gauge. Ooh, Zero to is, Cosmo. This is nice as heck. Mm hmm You get the salt on your lips, and then the blood orange kind of kicks in and smooths it all out. Yeah, it's like tart There's, and sweet. And like I don't taste the rum. I don't either! Which is, you know, depending on what your preference is, could be good or bad. And I'm not really getting the chipotle. Mm -mm. Like, it's not spicy at all. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe it kind of hits you in the back. I sip it, I get a little kick, and then like a tiny bit back there. But it's not overwhelming like you would think, oh god, spice, what? No, it's so good. That's great. This would be amazing as a blended drink. Yes, I was thinking oh that my too. Word. There is a blended drink later on, so. This would be good as a We're blended We're going to have to drink. find this mix. Barmalade. Mm. It's real good. Salty on the front, sweet during, and then a little kick of spice in the back. I like. This is good, y'all. I want to put like, I want to blend it and put like some cherries on top. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to finish this one up. I'm going to clean out the shaker, and then we'll come back and do this one. Oh, this is a stirred one, so I don't even need the shaker. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be... Actually, let's just do it now. Okay. F, F it. F it. Here we go. Bottoms up. Oh, we're chugging? Mm. Hold on, let's do add this. Do we need this glass? Do we not? No. We don't need it. I'm going to no. add that little extra shot in there and see what that does. 
Oh my god, sorry about your ears. <laughs> Look out! You've got headphones. <laughs> Again, sorry. <laughs> Such an asshole. We're so sloppy. I kind of don't want. Oh yeah, it's delightful. Yeah. Even that little extra rum. Now, now you got the taste spice of, the rum. of it. Yeah. yeah. My God, this is wonderful. What a way to start. I know, <laughs> right? I'm happy as a clam. Moister than an oyster. <laughs> now I just want seafood. <laughs> Says the girl who's allergic to most seafood but eats it anyway. Uh, well, she just deals with the mouth hives. But, and you know, I do really good on what I'm allergic to. I don't eat cake. Yeah. So, you know, we figured out why she's allergic to cake. It's because of the eggs in the frosting. Because Which is horrendous. <laughs> if you don't know, most like store bought and stuff has meringue powder in it, which is basically just dried egg whites. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't figure out why. And I thought, it's got to be the eggs, Britt. And that's what we figured out. And even homemade icings and stuff, I still can't have. So that really sucks. Could be the cornstarch, too, that they put in the powdered sugar. Yeah. She's a mess. And I just found out I'm allergic to pork rinds, so. Shit, and you just found that awesome snack. <laughs> I'ma still, I'ma still do it. Because I ate them with something else, and still, my mouth has not recovered from the hives. Jesus. Yeah, it's still there. So we were at my sister's last weekend, and my sister does pretty strict keto. Like, there's, she does take days off because she likes to eat fun stuff with the kids. But... Her favorite snack is pork rinds and um, spinach, spinach artichoke, artichoke dip. dip. So Brittany tried that. She's like, I need this in my life. Yes, it's so good. So she like texts her mom. She's like, Mom, put uh, pork rinds on the shopping list. And wasn't your mom at the store? And she yeah. was like sending you pictures. Yes. Which ones? <laughs> yeah. And she bought a, a barbecue flavored one and then just plain flavored one. And like that night, I went and I ate the the barbecue. And my mouth was on fire. It was so bad. Like hives, my tongue was, pardon, my tongue started to bleed. It was bad. And I was like, that sucks. These are so good. So that's the kind of thing that happened to me when I ate Doritos the last time. Oh, Which yeah, that happens me to me so too. so sad. Yeah. So like then the night after that, I was like, well, maybe it's just the stuff that's on the barbecue flavoring. Mm. So I tried to eat the plain ones because... <laughs> There's nothing on that, okay? Yeah, it's literally just pork skin it's just and pork salt. skin. And so I take that and I'm, I dip it. <laughs> Same thing happens. Shit. I was like, what? Okay, maybe it's the spinach artichoke dip. Please don't let that be it. <laughs> <laughs> and so the night after that, please. The night after that, I tried, um, my mom had made some, a tuna fish mix with just pickles, very light mayo, and olives. And I dip it in that, and oh my god, it's so good, first of all, so good. Reaction. God. So it's gotta be the pork rinds. It's gotta be the pork rinds. It's gotta be something in the pork rinds. But listen, it's, it's a semi-healthy snack, and it's delicious, and I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I get it from? <laughs> Badass influence. I think I'm just like, I just want to eat food sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to think about the repercussions of it. Yeah. So I'm just like, I just want to eat good food for just like a little bit. <laughs> and I feel like, like I do, I avoid things that make me have a reaction. Yeah. But if I was to avoid everything at this point that makes me have a reaction. Yeah. I couldn't eat anything. Yeah, that's how I am too. White rice is all I could have. <laughs> me too. Like, and even white rice sometimes yeah. makes my like blood sugar go like super high. It's like my body doesn't know what to do yeah. anymore. <laughs> even like so eating annoying. salad. If I, cause I went, I went a week. I was like, you know what? F it. I'm gonna just be as healthy as I can. I would eat salads with like <laughs> boiled chicken. Sorry. Sorry. With like boiled chicken, nothing on it. Like tiny little bit of sauce on it was not good for me. I Let found out that I what. have a really bad reaction to like spinach and kale. Mm. It just, I don't know what it is, but it just kills me. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm, we talked like five we more off. minutes after what we happened? were like, let's make another drink. I'm going to go get more ice and then we'll get to the, uh, the next drink. Bird. Okay. We're back. <laughs> 
Oh, this might not be good for you. It's called Kiss of the Oceans. <laughs> this is gonna go awesome. <laughs> Add the rum, syrup, bitters, and salt to a rocks glass with a large ice cube. A large ice cube? I don't have rocks glasses, but we're gonna use these fun mule glasses that I have. We also don't have large ice cubes. So we're just gonna wow. do that. That's what we ought to get you. Something that makes a giant round ice cube. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, add the rum. Okay, two ounces of aged rum per glass. This is a 21 and over thing. You can't be involved. Do you want to mix this one? People say that I'm like too controlling and I just mix everything. No. I like watching this all unfold. I like actually want to be a bartender. I, listen, yes. Since the age of eight, I was practicing to be a flair bartender. Yes. I would spin everything, throw it up, and then like pretend like I would pour. I would count throw how it, long. Not throw it. Not up. throw it up. <laughs> Didn't do it till high school. No. Kidding. <laughs> 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 Funny. I swear. <laughs> But like, my mom got so mad at me because I broke so many remotes. <laughs> Cause I like open my hand and spit it and then they go fly. <laughs> Half ounce of tamarindo syrup, which is obviously a tamarind syrup. Did you ever in school have to do like a, a board of what you wanted to do when you grew up? No, like a vision board? <laughs> Basically, I think that's what it was, yeah. Like in no. fifth grade, I think it was, they had us do a vision board of what we wanted to be. And most people picked like one job. I had eight that I wanted to do. I think I was 10 in fifth grade. Yeah. I had like, of course I wanted to be like a singer or a musician. Yeah. And then I had um, a tattoo artist slash piercer. I wanted to do crime scene cleanup. <laughs> I <w> was... <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> A very morbid 10 year old. I was, yeah. I wanted to be uh, a mortician. Um, what else did I want to do? The flare bartending. Did you watch like cocktail too many times? I don't know what happened. Uh, I just added two dashes into each glass of Angostura bitters. Gonna add a pinch of sea salt. Continue your story, sorry. I think that was basically it. I'm just saying like. I always chose singer, teacher, or baseball player. Mmm. A lot of um, what is that movie? <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also wanted to be a uh, Use the sugar cane stick to stir until the glass something. feels ice cold, then leave it in the drink as the garnish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the the sugarcane stick fibers are not edible, but can be chewed on for yeah. sugarcane juice. Okay. You know how I know that? Survivor Man and such. That sounds gross. Okay, here's yours. Spilled a little. Wait, it's in there? Like the drink is. Yeah, that's all there is. It's basically just two ounces of rum, some syrup, some salt, and some bitters. Does your glass feel cold? Mine's mine's off. Frosty. Yeah, it's, it's frosty. damn, it's frosty. That's a cold ass honky. Why do I do that every time I think about frosty? What is this supposed to smell like? Like that? I don't know, but it it smells gross, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. These were supposed to be in the fridge, <laughs> and it it got delivered to work, and then I didn't see it for a day because they put it on top of my file cabinet. Don't chew it. You're supposed to. Oh, you're supposed to chew it, not eat it. That's right. It suddenly felt like a child. <laughs> you look like a cat. Well, I didn't want to actually put it in my mouth because like, it smells rotten. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't I like the like sugar that. cane stick. But let's try the drink. Oh, hold on. I forgot you all my manners. Be a real person. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Much stronger. Yeah, but I don't really taste anything. Spice. 
Yeah. I, I didn't watch I, what went into this, so I don't know. <laughs> tamarindo syrup, which mm. is tamarind, which is supposed to have a really nice flavor to it, and then some bitters, some sea salt flakes, and then the sugar cane. I think because it's cold, I'm not getting any flavor. There's a little little note of bitter at the top right there after it all goes down. If you let it sit on your lips, definitely salty. But I think because it's so cold, it's kind of chilling the flavors. I warmed it up in my mouth on my tongue. Mm -hmm. I can definitely taste the rum. And there is a little bit of like a, a, a tamarind flavor, mm -hmm. which I've only ever had in like some Indian yeah. food. Like I don't, I, tamarind's not something that I eat a lot of. The other drink, <clears throat> you couldn't really taste the rum. This drink, you can definitely taste the rum. So depending on how you like it. Yeah. I, I like the other one better. Mm -hmm. This is, to me, this is inconsequential. Like it's not, I don't, I'd just rather drink the rum. I can't picture myself doing something drinking this. Yeah. Purposefully going to make the drink. Right. That other one I would make all the time. Like, yeah. Brittany's coming over. Let me get that barmalade out. We're going to have some drinks. We like, gotta do it. But this is just like, meh. If someone made it and they offered it to me, okay. I'll probably nurse it for the night. Bitch, I never turned down a drink. Right. And if, if they offer me something different, then I'll chug this shit mm -hmm. if I need to. But this isn't something that I would choose to drink. Yeah, it's really only after you let it sit in your mouth and warm up that you can yeah, taste this, everything. This should be served differently, I think. I think so. I don't think it should be served on the rocks. Yeah. This seems like this maybe needs to be a shot. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Okay. I'm gonna just use this for everything. <laughs> It's so innovative. Okay. Ah, you just smell like a two dollar whore. Me or the drink? Because <laughs> I didn't thing. I didn't put on my Vidal Sassoon today. This rotted stick. <laughs> yeah, that's totally my fault. But I don't see that adding too much to it to make no, it any different. No, it wasn't in there enough. Let's try this as a shot. To me, that's much more pleasant as a shot. You get more in your mouth, mm -hmm. and the flavors kind of mix around in there. You know what I love about that as a shot as opposed to a drink? As a drink, it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't really make me go like, ooh, yes. As a shot, the reason I love that is because I don't need a chaser. It's so smooth. You don't need anything else. You just take the shot, move right along. Oh, there's a bonus on here. Build the cocktail as an agua fresca. Add one and a half ounces of rum, three quarters ounce of syrup, two dashes of bitters, a pinch of sea salt to a Collins glass, fill the glass three quarters of the way with fresh cubed ice and add soda water. Mm. Do you want to try that? Some fart water? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use Sprite. <laughs> Much better. That's what I have. Yeah. Okay, let me grab Colin's glasses. Kitty, hello. Are we? Are we dark enough? I have cranberry You think that's gonna make a difference? I'm daring enough to try. <laughs> There's one. One's on the counter. Colin, get a Colin's glass. Colin's. Also, maybe a nappykin. Okay. Oh man, I gotta go get more paper towels. Aw, oh, hell. You would think we would know to be more prepared than this by now. But that's just who we are. Hot mess of bread. Is broom. Let's pick up an ice cube. Do 
you have a little bit left in your glass? I do. Okay. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll check it against what we made before. Okay. Here cleaning. Mm -hmm. I got a new ice machine for anyone who cares. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the table? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay. One and a half ounces of rum. So that went in there. Yeah. Brittany's like, yeah, sure it did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up soon. <laughs> You're making it worse. You're like, I don't see how. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't be a bartender because I would waste half my product on the freaking table. Uh, you fired. I have plans. Oh. <laughs> Listen, we have more paper towels. That's why we go to Costco. Costco. Uh, three quarters ounce of the syrup. What syrup were we using? Oh, the tamarind syrup. Oh, don't do that. Do not. Do not look at that. <laughs> <laughs> No one needs to see that ever, ever. <laughs> okay, well, there's not enough syrup. Get the fridge out of my drink. Okay. We're out of the syrup now. <laughs> <clears throat> Two dashes of bitters and a pinch of sea salt. Ooh, I love watching it drop. Fun. <laughs> I got Xavier a shirt that says, um, oh my God, what does it say? What's, what's the, what's the WAP song? It's like, oh, it says certified freak seven days a week. And then it's got like a punch card with every day of the week. <laughs> Cute. I thought it was so funny. No, I just want to be singing that song, but it's in a probes. <laughs> Totes in a probes right now. Oh shit, your drink's on there. Sorry! Uh, crazy. Don't call me crazy! I take medicine for that! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we need these glasses anymore? Can I just put no, them in there? We're done with those. But you're gonna need just your, your swizzle stick. <laughs> Not the swizzle stick. So we're gonna add winter spice cranberry. Sure. Because that's what we got. Winter spice cranberry spray. Ginger ale would probably have been better, but I left that in the car. Ooh, that was pretty. Did you see? <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> so take your swizzle stick. You're gonna have to go all the way to the bottom because they're all that dark stuff fell to the bottom. That tamarind syrup. <laughs> This drink has some body yaddy yaddy. <laughs> she has the number four and number five on the top one. Hell yeah, right she does. I'm like, damn, girl. Love her. Ugh. We're talking about Meg the Stallion, by the way. If you don't know, now you know. DIY, not e DIY. FYI. <laughs> DIY. Oh, man. <laughs> Just drink. <laughs> Much more better. I was almost scared to drink it, not gonna lie. I was like, yeah, we're just gonna swallow quick. No. Compared to this, which I feel like has, has no flavor except rum. Yeah. This is like full of body. Mm hmm Yeah. The Sprite adds like a really nice effervescence to it. Makes it easier to drink. It's not, <laughs> doesn't feel like a chore. Yeah. This, this felt like a chore. <laughs> this felt like... Listen, we're on our first date. You got me a drink. I'm gonna drink it so I'm not a bitch about it. <laughs> yeah. 
but like you're gonna learn what out. I actually like. <laughs> yeah. I ain't putting out if this is the kind of drink you drink. <laughs> like that's just it. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna call myself an Uber real quick. <laughs> this is like okay, are you my Uber? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about let me ride that, but that seems inappropriate. But I'm gonna leave that in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna catch a ride on you though. What's up, boo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna clean off the table because we gotta bring out the big guns. The big guns. We're getting the blender out. We're getting violent. <laughs> Isn't violence though? I mean, I guess yeah, we are whipping that things ice. into admission, submission. Yeah. I call it violence. <laughs> Ultra violence. Blender Anybody violence. Else? Anybody? Ultra violence? Down below. Who my friends? <laughs> Not me. All right. <laughs> Sorry. We We're on to our last drink. It's the avocado colada. Grab your bottle and blender because we're crossing the Pacific to a country that you might be surprised to learn is home to the best selling rum in the world. With volcanic soil, a tropical climate, and a host of pure spring waters, the Philippines checks all the boxes for booming rum production. And now it's got an icy colada of its very own, thanks to Mary Palak. It's a lot, wait, and it's a lot greener than a piña. Matcha and avocado join the frothy fun with coconut and rum for a more seasonal, earthy version of this beachside beloved. Beautiful. So. Combine the rum, syrup, lime juice, coconut milk, and avocado powder in a blender with one cup of ice. So we're gonna do two cups of ice. Because obviously we're making a double. Should have done an advance uh, warning on that one. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> have I ever played that for them? I don't know if I have. <laughs> it's Pause. like the only thing I have in my phone. Bars. <laughs> Burb. Um, audio. <laughs> Wait, I gotta play it again. I'm gonna turn it up. Sorry about that. So that's from one of Lou's streams where he was playing Fortnite with some kids and they wouldn't help him. And he's like, guys, where are you? And this one kid goes, sorry about that. It's like uh, my everything. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. Iconic. <laughs> Iconic for Lou Corvette streams. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces or three ounces for a double. One, two, this has a bigger head so she don't need to do the mom arm for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> three, it needs two ounces of this matcha syrup, which the ingredients are cane sugar, filtered water, jade leaf organic, Japanese matcha green tea powder, and citric acid. It's like a lot. That was a lot to say. Gluk, 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 gluk. One, glug, 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 two. So we need a half ounce of lime juice, which is a full ounce. I'm actually gonna do some zest in here with my microplane because I want that extra limey flavor. This ain't doing shit. <laughs> Are you doing it on the wrong side? No, that's the that's the side. Maybe I'm just not pushing hard enough. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to zest it? Well, now I need a knife. Hold on, I'm gonna do Can this. Can we just use my choppy stick and yeah. poke a hole? Yes. So I'm gonna squeeze the lime. How much do we need? We only need an ounce, so. Oh my god, I can't eat with that anyways. <laughs> no, that was terrible. Oh, I'm so scared for your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. <laughs> okay, well, that's not working, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stab this fucking lime. How about you just tear it in half now? Well, I will. I want to squeeze as much as I can before Can I just that. like, can we please stabilize this thing? <laughs> 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 yeah! 
brute fucking strength. Let's just put it in here. Just pour this in here. Whatever we get out of one line is what we're doing. Look. Things happen. This is Candyland. <laughs> Brittany comes here because I am full of bullshit. <laughs> I'm not even that drunk anymore. Like that's why we're like making sure that we're doing this right now is because like I'm losing my buzz and it's real sad. Oh god. You're doing great. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we need three ounces of coconut. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. We got 3D. <sighs> three ounces of coconut milk. I thought the coconut was a push tab. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> We need three ounces for a single or a double? Oh, wait. We need three ounces for a single. Okay, good call. Good call. Go, me. Go Brit. There we go. Okay. And then two teaspoons of the avocado powder. I gotta say, that coconut milk looks real gross. Clean in there. Yeah. We're just gonna guess because I don't have a teaspoon with me. What is it? Avocado powder. It looks like half ish. Okay. Okay, cats. Babies, I'm sorry. Take off your headphones, turn down the sound. We're gonna blend. On high. We're going to icebreaker it. Hear chunks anymore? A little bit. I think we'll the chunks would be fine. <laughs> okay. We've now blended it. Oh, Harriet. <laughs> Sorry, babes. They're like sneaking into the living room now. They're like, oh, mom, what's happening? You're okay. I promise. We're gonna try this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> oh. oh, oh shit. Oh. There we go. We're gonna ride up to the tippity tap. Cause we ain't done yet. Pour it till it's on the rim. Take a little time. Take a little time. Done yet. Cause Can now go? we're gonna take a nutbag seat. <laughs> nutbag <Excuse> seat. <laughs> <laughs> nutbag seat. I'm just gonna. Oh, see that worked. Gentle on the nut with me, thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, here we go. Cheers. This looks like eggnog or something. Oh, fuck. I can't with you. <laughs> okay. There's nut bag all over. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ow! Guys, I'm like this when I'm sober. Like, that's the worst part of it. Oh, you hate it? Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> what is even happening on this last drink? 
Look, I like it. Well, it tastes delish. <laughs> Can I have a napkin though? Because <laughs> I have a nut bag all over me. <laughs> it's a rager of a Saturday night. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's like seven o'clock. I'm not tired. She's like, it's 620. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> okay, let's actually drink the drink okay. and, and test the drink. I think I just don't like the smell of nutmeg. Maybe. Ooh, it's nice though. It's not horrendous. It's it's like a I don't enjoy a milkshake, I'm gonna be honest. But this is like a, a delectable milkshake. It's very earthy. It makes sense because it has matcha in it mm -hmm. and avocado. Yay. But I like that it's blended. It's like real smooth. Let's try it again. <laughs> if I don't smell the top of it, it's not horrible. I just don't think I like the nutmeg. It's very overpowering. And I only put a little on yours. Mm-hmm. Again, this one's a little cold, so like, I'm really only getting the, the coconut milk. Yeah. Yeah, definite coconut milk. I think the reason I like it so much is it's like frothy in a blended drink. Mm-hmm, yeah. Nothing too exciting. It, like, it's hard to describe, but it tastes like a whole ass tree. <laughs> it's, it's got the nuttiness right here. It's kind of piney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not like in an offensive way. Yeah, you're not humping the tree, you're hugging it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Look, I like it. But I don't like super sweet things either. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like super sweet things, you might like this. But apparently, it doesn't taste good to her. I also don't like super sweet things, but... <sighs> I, I don't like matcha that much either, but I don't really taste it. Here's the thing. I don't hate it. I would drink it because it's blended and cold, and you pretty much get me with anything. If it's blended... I'm Maybe good. I should have blended it more. No. Because I like the little enough. teeny chunks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I feel my hives getting set off by something in here. <laughs> and my tongue is burning. So <laughs> Okay, well you should stop drinking it. Well, and now I'll I gotta just drink, drink yours. <laughs> okay, so obviously the first drink was our favorite. Mm -hmm. We've already done a second one of those. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> This is not like this is not terrible. This would be I would second. drink this over the second one. Mm -hmm. But I did like the second one when we put it in a spritzer. Yeah, in a spritzer. It was, was way good. better that way. As it is by itself, going by the recipe, it would be for me first, third, second drink. Yeah, yeah. If we were to switch it and put the spritzer with it, the Seven Up or whatever, it would probably be. A tie with first and second. Yeah. And then this one as the third. Yeah. Just because it is so earthy tasting to me. Yeah. And my tongue hurts real bad. <laughs> Can you seriously stop? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the coconut. Maybe you're allergic to coconut. We're finding that out now. I'm allergic to coconut, aloe, all the things. That, that makes sense me. though, because they're in the same sort of family. Sure. Right? Tropical? You can't have pineapple, coconut, Aloe. If I go to Hawaii, I'm gonna combust. You're effed. Yeah. <laughs> You're effed as eff. <laughs> Boy, that sucks. It really does suck. I love a Dole Whip. <laughs> yeah, but we really like colder climates anyway. <laughs> <laughs> go to Alaska, have all the sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it for the shaker and spoon box. You guys will probably see me doing like an intro to the well no intro but an outro because i need to do the next box so yeah thanks for hanging out with me i'm happy to swing on by <laughs> <laughs> i hate that <laughs> all right guys
guys, I will see you in an outro and uh, Brittany will see you later. Hey guys, so I just finished editing the Shaker and Spoon Box with Brittany and I dying laughing while I'm editing it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh no, where'd my NYX box go? No, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I need to open up NYX for day 19 and 20, so I'm going to go ahead and pop them out. We'll get back into wine and hot cocoa tomorrow. I just don't feel like drinking wine today after all the rum last night. <laughs> we had so much fun though, like I can't. Okay, so day 19 is this lipstick. Uh, Whipped Caviar is the name. I know the lighting's not great in here today. I don't have my overhead light on, but... There's the lip color. That's really cute. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll try to do a look with that. And this eyeshadow, which is rose gold. So pretty. Let me do a swatchy swatch. Ooh, she's so pretty! My cats probably think I'm talking to them. Are we focused? Yeah. So there's the eyeshadow and the lip. They'll actually go great together. I can create a really nice look with those. And then in the morning, we will see what else we get out of the calendar. And, you know, we'll see what kind of look I pull together for work. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. Sorry for no video last night, but we were just having such a chill night that I was like, I don't want to push myself to get a video put together. So thanks for swinging by. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.